Welcome to the NC Spin After Spin. Additional comments from our panelists just available on our website. Patrick, Sebastian, what do you wish you had said on last week's show, but you didn't? Uh, well, speaking of the early voting, I thought maybe talk a little bit more about the three congressional races that are competitive in North Carolina and how you know, you've had some polls with Harris, for instance, in Charlotte down by nine points. Now you have them up by five points. You had- um, They're just all over everywhere. They're all over everywhere. And I think this year will, will be another example. Well, uh, should we trust polling? Because in 16, in a lot of states, it did not work out too well for the pollsters. And then this year, you have such a diverse um, state that we have as far as population. Are polls going to be right this year or are they going to be wrong? I don't know. Well, you're in this business. Yeah. Doesn't it really come down to how do you word the question and what your sample size and uh, your sample is used? So much of the polling is, is guesstimating what the turnout's going to be. So when you have, when you when the pollster thinks that the Democratic turnout is going to be five points higher than it actually is, that's just going to skew the whole thing. So. A lot of poll is science, and, and they're scientific, but so much of it is an art that people don't talk about, but it really is an art. So you're saying we should watch these polls with a grain of salt? Yes. Short and, answer, yes. And I don't, I don't know where that came from, but I understand what it means. Yeah, we'll, well, thank you for watching the Afterspin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com.